Our question today from our viewer, uh, they are curious if you could please tell them a little bit about how to boost their collagen. How to boost your collagen? Well, I suppose there's a really subtle chemistry involved here, but basically, I don't think you really need to do much to, to boost your collagen. What is collagen? Collagen is the main structural protein in our body. It's, it's the scaffolding material that your body uses to make the hard structures in your body. In other words, your bones are, are, is, are made of collagen uh, that is calcified, and calcified collagen is basically what bone is. Uh, but, cal but collagen is what's making up the tendons uh, that move your muscles, and your, uh, your skin has lots of collagen in it. It's the, it's the scaffolding that our organs are made of. And so your body knows how to make collagen. Uh, the, what you don't want to do is interfere with that. Uh, you've got uh, genes that are just prepared to make all sorts of wonderful collagen if you just give them what they need and then get out of their way so they can do it. So as far as giving them what they need, what do you think they need? They need protein, they need amino acids. Uh, they're the building blocks of collagen protein. So you want to have something once a day that's really particularly protein rich, that's largely from the legume family. Have something with uh, lentils or beans or peas or chickpeas, have some lentil stew or a bean burrito or a hummus sandwich, uh, something with, with legume protein. Uh, all the whole grains, though, millet, buckwheat, uh, farro, I've recently discovered uh, wonderful grains. I have some of those. But uh, all foods, uh, nuts, seeds, dark leafy greens, they're all good sources of protein. But make sure that's what your diet's made of, not energy drinks and granola bars and processed sugars. You, you want to eat those uh, healthy protein-containing foods. But it's not a matter of just bolting down proteins in a powder just to get the amino acids. Uh, you also need the vitamins and minerals that the enzymes need to actually put those building blocks together to make collagen. And we're talking about the entire family of vitamin B, uh, B1, B2, B3, B6, um, B12. They're all important in protein synthesis. Uh, and vitamin C is really important. And so, uh, again, lots of fresh vegetables. You want, uh, citrus has a really wonderful place uh, in the human diet. So uh, I've been making a point to eat a navel orange every day or have some grapefruit slices uh, on my salad. Uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, bell peppers and most fresh fruits and vegetables have some vitamin C. Uh, so eat the protein, eat the vitamins and minerals. And uh, don't do things that rob your body, that subvert enzymes. Don't drink a lot of alcohol. Don't eat a bunch of sugar. Don't flood your uh, system with junky oils. Uh, uh, don't uh, uh, spend your time with in high-stress situations because that makes your adrenal glands put out a hormone called cortisol, and cortisol weakens collagen. Now, all the steroid um, uh, molecules do. Uh, you need, sometimes you need a little bit of cortisol, and it's not necessarily an evil molecule, but to keep yourself in a high-stress state all the time uh, is a great way to uh, weaken your collagen. And so when I say get out of your, you know, eat what you need to do as far as protein-containing foods and the fresh foods and vitamins and minerals, get out of the, your body's way as far as don't be eating, uh, as I said, the, the sugars and the oils and the, uh, and the junk foods. Uh, if you do that, uh, your body will make all the collagen you need. There's nothing you really need to do to build collagen. And I don't think you need to eat anybody else's collagen, uh, uh, seriously. Uh, um, you see collagen being sold as powders, and it's ground up cow tendons and pig uh, uh, hooves and connective tissue or whatever. Um, uh, again, uh, your body knows how to make uh, that, and the, the cow is making all those, uh, all that wonderful strong collagen out of the plants that it's eating, <laughs> you know, and so clearly here's a large mammal making collagen out of green, green leafy vegetables and plants. Well, guess what? We could do the same. Ask any gorilla. They're sitting there eating leaves and fruit all day. They make lots of collagen and they don't have to take any supplements or any special foods to do that. So, uh, so eat those protein-containing foods, eat those uh, vitamin-rich-containing foods. Don't, uh, don't pollute your diet, and your body will make all the collagen that you need. 
That's great. That's great. So basically just don't get in the way and our body will, will do what it needs to do. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.